My name is Stefan Kaus. I'm Product Manager Tatuation here at Xanolix Germany. In, other, in another video, we showed you the tatuation of a total acid in the fruit juice. And now we will show you something different. We want to tatuate the acid in a, in a mayonnaise. In a, not a liquid, it's a, it's a, it's a more solid uh, sample. And the difference is we don't have uh, citric acid as in a, a juice, we have vinegar, acetic acid in the sample. We will use uh, the same uh, standard method for the, as we use for the juice, but we will change the parameters. We have your application nodes and so we can use uh, um, the parameters from the application node. We will we'll load, use the default method again for total acidity and to make it easier we will change the, the name and say it's uh, acidity, acidity in mayo. To make it simple, okay, fine. Next step is we have to change the result calculation because um, the acid is fine, uh, but the formula have to be changed a little bit because now we have the molecular weight here, equivalent weight from citric acid. We will have to change it to the molecular weight of acetic acid. The factor has to be ch have to be changed because now we want to calculate in percentage and percentage means gram per 100 gram. The volume is changed to weight manual or weight automatic because we are using now a balance and the balance is connected to the Tito line 5000 or we can also use weight automatic. And that's it. We go back, we will change the unit from gram per liter to percentage and that's fine. Next is we have to change the dosing speed and the titration par parameters a little bit because if you want, if you use the standard parameters from the total acid in juice, the titration will be too far, uh, too fast and over titrate. We will change the Endpoint is the same, sorry, but the delta endpoint 1.2 is a little bit too small. We will change it to 1.8. So, what we can do because the sample is a, it's a solid sample and it has to be mixed for uh, a while, we can enter the, the mixing time into the, into the uh, sample preparation and we will use. 60 seconds, but we can also use 120 seconds, 180 seconds and more. So, now we have a method called SED in, in mayonnaise. You use a beaker, place it on a balance, press Tara. We mix a little bit the sample before and we will use now Three or four grams. We that's the sample weight. If you press now the print button, you hear a beep. When you're using an external keyboard and press F5, you can see the sample weight. This weight was automatically transferred to the Tito Nine Five Thousand. Now we add a stereo bar to the beaker and add. 80 with one to 100 milliliter of deionized water. Adjust the speed to three, between three and four. Immerse the electrode completely into the solution. And then we can start. We can enter something, test or whatever. And you see the sample weight is already there. 
so saturation starts automatically. And you can see the saturation is waiting because the steering time was 60 seconds and it's now all already at 40 seconds. After the mixing time is finished, the titrator starts automatically the titration. With mode or F5 key, you can toggle between the graphic the display, graphic display, or the uh, situation values in pH and monitor. At the end of the titration, you can see the pH is changing much quicker. And so the titrator stop the quick titration and change to a more slower titration speed until the endpoint of 8.2 is reached. When the endpoint of 8.2 is reached or higher, the trader waits uh, some seconds. and calculate the result exactly at pH 8.2 and the acidity was 0.33% which is typical for mayonnaise. Yeah. At the end of the titration the trader shows uh, the result on the display or if a USB stick is connected to the trader is the trader automatically generates a PDF file and it's stored on the USB stick. Thank you for watching the video.